Hi, how's it going guys? This is Tyler from Sneaker Style. Today we have a really interesting review for you. It's a brand new model for 2017. It is the EQT Boost 9317. I'm thinking like a guy meeting Buddha. I have beings living inside of my medulla. Feeling like a Mala in a first person shooter. Going stupid with an SK shooter. Magic bullets, I'm your ruler. Six times over, put the rapper six feet under. Dig him up and throw his ashes in a hookah. I'm high off life. Ride a bus with a knife. My notebook green death like whenever I write. Alright, so I want to start off with a little bit of history lesson on the EQT model before I start showing you these things. So uh, the Adidas EQT line was a line that came out in 1991. Uh, you'll see 91 featured on a lot of the newer silhouettes. It's just, a, it's just a statement of continuation that they have the line still alive today. And originally this line was created, it was 100% it was performance based. Uh, there was a lot of bright, super crazy looking shoes that had come out in the 1980s and to bring in the 1990s, Adidas wanted to focus mainly on athletics and performance and at the time these shoes w became super popular in style and in the performance field so people really enjoyed these shoes and have enjoyed these shoes for years and so Adidas is bringing them back and is making newer renditions today and they're trying to stay true to that to that performance level and they've been doing a great job so far especially with the addition of boost so with that, with that out of the way, I just wanted to let you guys know what uh, the EQT line stands for. It's, it's equipment, and so they called it equipment because it was meant to be used as equipment. Not so much for style, but for, for performance. So anyways, let's get into this review. So it comes in a traditional Adidas blue box that you'll see with most releases that they have nowadays. NMDs will have like a uh, black box. I actually expected these to come in the original green box, but I guess they started to uh, just do, do away with that and go with blue boxes this year. But as you can see, I've already laced them up and worn them, but these are the EQT 9317s and they are absolutely amazing. I love these things. So here, let me get the other one out real quick. Anyways, it came with a lot of paper in there. But anyways, here are the absolutely beautiful brand new model 9317s. And so they took the, as the name states, 9317, uh, it's a 2017 model based on the 19, 1993 EQT model. And they did a pretty good job. Uh, there, it did change a little bit on the toe box area because it used to don leather and suede and stuff. And so it was a little more clunky of a shape than they are nowadays. Adidas has been doing super sleek models now. And so, the inspiration that is really mainly what can be seen from the last model is that they have a different material divided through the through the stripes right here, and the uh, the lace the lacing unit on the other side, this TPU part, and then they also brought back the suede. Like I said, they were made with a lot of suede, and so there's suede on the inside right here, which I actually really like. It's super soft, and wearing these barefoot is actually pretty comfortable and they feature it on the side right here where it says EQT support. Uh, one of the biggest negatives that people have said about the shoe is these stripes right here, that they're a little bit loud and they're a little too much, but I actually really like them. I think, they, I think they're loud and I really like that actually. Um, but this colorway right here is going to be the OG model for the 9317. I imagine they're going to be making plenty more of these, tons of different colorways. So far, there's only one other colorway that I have seen. Actually, I've seen two now. There's an all, there was a bl all black and white colorway. It was really simple. Somebody actually just got those by mistake. Uh, they ordered, uh, I don't even know if they ordered these, but ended up getting a black pair in the mail. Uh, so that was pretty cool they must, that they just came up on a sample. But yeah, this is the OG colorway. It is white, black, and turbo red. This is more of a pink color to me, and uh, it, it looked pink in the pictures, and it looks pink in person. It's like a salmonish pink, I guess, but call it turbo red. Uh, but the other colorway that I've seen is a white mountaineering collab, and it is a blue. It has blue leather instead of a and instead of this TPU lace loop right here and support piece on the side and they say white mountaineering on the stripes on the outside. And then one other thing that they incorporated on this shoe that was also on the 1993 model, before I forget, is the fact that they molded the stripes into the sole. 
Uh, and the fact that this is boost, it just makes it that much more cool to me. And they also incorporated it all the way down to the bottom rubber sole. So the shape of the shoe is super sleek, very, very attractive. Uh, every person that I've, that I've seen me, that have seen me wear these so far have complimented them and said, wow, those are, those are really cool. Like even people who don't know what these shoes are, they see them and they, they are just kind of in shock. They're, they're very unique shoes and these might be one of my favorites. Uh, it'll be hard to pass the acronym Prestos, but these are definitely up there with them. And now in terms of performance, since Adidas was talking about uh, how the EQT line is a performance line, these shoes are a casual shoe. I wouldn't use them too much for running or athletic wear. Uh, the knit is a little bit stronger than Prime Knit because Prime Knit's really stretchy and when I played on like, I, I've tried to play some sports in Ultra Boost and stuff and it was a bad mistake. Uh, it, my foot kind of just slides right off the edge and I feel like it wouldn't do as much on this, especially with the super wide platform of the shoe. But I still think with the super flat sole, these are more of a casual shoe. But to really, I, I want to add. A, I want to be very adamant on the fact that I did not expect these to be more comfortable than Ultra Boosts. But before I say it, like I, I thought that it was too good to be true. Ultra Boosts are the best. There's no passing it. But these are more comfortable than Ultra Boosts. These things feel like you're walking on nothing. They are extremely, extremely soft and comfortable and cushioned. And I, I think the 180 price tag on these alone is worth the comfort that I got out of these. Uh, they, the boost that they use is more similar to the Pure Boost because the Pure Boost ha is a very casual model. It's only for casual use and the boost is actually a little bit softer. So I feel like Adidas kind of variates the cushion to the, the bouncy like spring that the boost will have to which model that they are using it on. So they kind of cater it towards what whatever uh, the purpose is. And so they cater these towards absolute comfort. And as you can see, there's no carved out boost in the on the sole on the bottom. So this is just a solid boost, boost platform. And the heel is pretty similar uh, in terms of cushion to Ultra Boost. The huge difference is in the toe up here. There's an insane amount of boost and cushion underneath your underneath your forefoot, and stepping on the front is just as comfortable as stepping on your heel. So I, I seriously just can't get over these things. I don't want to take them off my feet, but I also don't want to ruin these because it is the OG colorway and I want to keep them nice. I do plan on buying another colorway whenever they release a bunch more. I'm really praying that they put these uh, in an olive colorway. Uh, I'm just too obsessed with olive. I want to have an olive shoe. <laughs> Almost dropped it. Uh, I want to have an olive shoe for every day of the month, so that would be another cool addition to the collection. But yeah, these things, like I said, they are not prime knit, so that, that's one thing, that's one, I guess, kind of negative to them, but uh, the, knit, the knit is loose enough for me, the fit is super comfortable, these are probably true to size, I could probably use a little more room for my toes in there, but a 14 fits just fine. Uh, I really like that about mesh shoes that have come, been coming out nowadays is that I can squeeze into a 14 and not feel super uncomfortable like having a restrictive leather shoe. But yeah, so these fit true to size. The price point was 180 and the resale on these isn't too high right now. So if you want to grab yourself a pair, they will only cost you between like 210 and 250 at the max. And so the, so it wouldn't be too hard to get these right now. Uh, they will have more colorways coming out like I said. Uh, but yeah, these shoes are absolutely sick. Uh, I, I just can't get over just looking at them, let alone wearing them. I've worn them to work twice already. And uh, there's only one negative I want to say about these shoes. And that's just because the boost hangs off, uh, off the really on the, the small lip on this corner right here. And that makes it makes driving these pretty hard without dirtying that boost. So if you are the type of person that wouldn't hate to get these anything but white, Definitely wear another pair of shoes or no shoes at all when you're driving uh, Because this will definitely drag on the bottom. I've already had to clean it off once So I made that mistake once and just switched to my all-black NMDs So yeah, that is the that being the only negative that tells you alone how awesome these shoes are uh, So I hope you enjoyed this review uh, Hopefully I didn't sound too obsessed about these shoes, but uh, these things are sick and uh, like I said, hope you enjoyed it. And please like and subscribe if you feel like it. Comment down below what you think of these shoes, whether you copped or not. 
and whether you're looking forward to more colorways of these things. But yeah, I was super excited to get them in the mail and I am still just in awe every time I take a look at these things. So it was nice talking to you guys, nice sharing some info with you. I will see you guys at the next review.